get to this point. You know, it's taking a long time. You know, you're able to, you can talk all you want, but you know, people learn by doing. So until you go out and start doing it, that's when it really starts to hit home and guys, you know, see how guys operate, how they. Didn't you know. find out really until, you know, five days before the game that I was going to be going out there first. And the emotions I felt right away were just a dream come true. Being a starter for the Huskies has always been a dream of mine since I was a little kid. I got pictures when I was in, you know, kindergarten, third grade, and running around a Husky jersey. Um, so, I mean, just, just going out on that field, knowing I'll be the starter, was really just a dream come true for me. The first thing I did was I called my mom and dad. Um, they were on the call together. They were going to the store or something. And I kind of just I was like, you guys ready to watch me play Saturday? And they were like, what? Um, so I was like, yeah, I was like, I'm going to be going out there first. And um, I think they just definitely had some tears shed. I think they were just super proud of the work that I put in. and. You know, just I wanted to thank them for all they did for me. Um, always taking me out to training, whatever. You know, they they would do whatever they had to do to make sure I was successful. Hey, this day standing, because I can feel you're ready. I can feel you're ready. Definitely just ready to get out there and play. I would say I was more anxious than anything. I remember just that whole week game planning. Um, I was just super excited. I was, you know, here with Coach Donovan, whatever, for numerous hours putting in the game plan. Just couldn't watch enough film for it because I was just ready to go out there and play. And you know, when that kickoff came, he was ready to go. Four quarterbacks to choose from for the University of Washington, but you saw in warm-ups, Dylan Morris was getting the snaps with the number one center, and he will lead the Huskies tonight. Touchdown, Washington! 21 yards. The sneak and the score, Dylan Morris with his first career rushing touchdown, Washington. Two arms up, touchdown, Washington. The dogs score with Dylan Morris on the quarterback sneak, and Washington takes a 23-14. And win number one for Jimmy Lake. Long time coming. It's the Huskies who prevail, and a win in the debut for Dylan Morris as well. Yes, we took that knee and met Coach Lake about the numbers and just said, hey, let's go. Many more wins to come. You know, that was fun, but let's keep going. And I'm definitely proud of him for his first college football game. Think about that. That was his first college football game in grimy, rainy weather. And we grinded it out. And uh, we got Dylan for his first start. He's got a win. He's 1-0. Yeah, I definitely think it's it's both comes with the preparation. Um, just feeling loose out there because I, I, you know, I know it's what went into the game plan. I know what we're going to do. I know what they're going to do. And so I think just part of that going going into it. And I think, yeah, just going back to high school, I was always been that way. Um, just really energetic, wanting to have a good time, you know, throw a touchdown, sprint down the field, do some celebrations, whatever. Um, Cause I think it gives the team energy, give myself some more energy and confidence, and um, just lets the game move. Before this time, it's McGrew, lowers the shoulder and gets in. Touchdown, Washington. That's a long, wide field throw by a guy from Puyallup. Looking a little bit like Brock Hewitt back in the day. Love it. Back, point your left shoulder, your target. Get there. Nice job. Green grass in front of him. Touchdown, Washington. 20 yards of bullet from Morris over the middle to Kato. Dylan Morris is letting it rip some confidence. <laughs> Strike up the band. Uh huh. On the other side, it's been uh, feet up fourth quarter for Dylan the Morris. The Lake Show under new head coach Jimmy Lake getting good reviews so far with new quarterback Dylan Morris. Fires caught on touchdown Washington and what a drive engineered by Dylan Morris. What a job by Dylan Morris. I can't say enough about the redshirt freshman quarterback. Yes, but he led the most important drive yep. when his team needed him most. He oh, no. delivered. But how about the poise that he showed to control that final drive? Exactly. And even some of the plays that he made that were bad throughout the game, you just looked him in his eye and he wasn't flinching one bit. He's just like, hey, we're going to get him the next drive. We're going to get him the next drive. He stayed positive, positive energy through adversity. I'm so proud of those guys. Thanks, Coach. Go enjoy it with your group. Thank you. Hey, go dogs. I think just for me is just being grateful for every day. Um, every day that we can come in here, work out, be with the coaches, you know, be with my friends and teammates. Um, and just you know, be together because we've seen you know, wake up one morning, can't come in. That might lead into a week, a month that we can't come in. So I think just being grateful for every day um, is what changed in my perspective of life. No, he's just like, hey, we're going, coach. We're going. Our quarterback, Devo.
I know this is devastating news to uh, to our team, our fans, um, and everybody that supports Husky football. We're looking forward to, to us trying to bring home that Pac-12 trophy. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think for myself and everybody, it was just heartbreaking news because I think we all know how special the team we have here and, you know, the momentum we would have carried through those two games and whatever um, the outcome would have been. But I think just, yeah, it's, it's definitely a sickening feeling knowing that we couldn't play those two games. Um, nothing that we did, it's just, you know, happens if COVID is. Um, and I think just leading into next year, we're going to have that momentum carrying with us and, you know, that feeling that we didn't get those two games. And so we're going to play for those two games. Yeah, I definitely think the offense performed very well throughout the season. I mean, we learned a new offense in the offseason over Zoom, which wasn't easy. Um, you know, trying to learn the things that we had to was just difficult. And then coming together, you know, we ran some stuff in person, got sent home again, had to go back on Zoom, came back here, and then it was basically we got a month to get ready to play. And, you know, the numbers that we put up, it was just it was something really special. And I think, you know, we got all guys returning on offense, especially with the line, that's going to be game changer. Those dudes are just going to maul people up front. I think we're going to have higher expectations for next year and, you know, be the best offense in the Pac-12.